Hello and welcome to the first and introductory tutorial of Big Dream ICT. My name is Ifai Obioma, your ICT tutor. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about ICT under the following subtopics. Introduction to ICT Basic concept of ICT Application of ICT and ICT in teaching and learning. Introduction to ICT ICT is an acronym which is formed by the terms Information and Communication Technology. It is referred to as the use of modern technologies to aid in analysis, storage, processing as well as communication of information. In order to help you understand the basic concept of ICT, I will be explaining the three terms that make up the acronym ICT, which are Information, Communication and Technology. Now let us take a look at what information is. Information is generally referred to as data which can be recorded, organized, or interpreted within a context in order to convey meaning. It can also be defined as a processed data. Let us look at Communication Communication is the transfer of information or ideas among persons through different systems, media, or devices such as computer, television, radio, internet, and so on. Technology Technology is generally defined as the making, modification, application and usage of tools, systems or machine for the purpose of solving problems in a less time period. After defining the three terms that make up ICT, we are going to look at the basic concept of ICT. ICT is a combination of different communication devices. It is basically referred to those technologies which provide access to information by means of telecommunication. ICT is very similar to IT, information technology, but it focuses mainly on different communication technologies such as internet and cell phone, which are also the best communication media today. After looking at the basic concept of ICT, it is important we look at the various applications of ICT. ICT enables us to communicate with people by using computer, internet, and cell phone. The role of ICT in teaching and learning ICT has helped in teaching and learning through various ways. It has enabled teachers and learners to teach and learn well, work efficiently, share ideas easily, solve different problems easily, as well as achieve goals in lesser period of time. So, this is to say 
that ICT can be used as an aid to computer teaching as well as learning. This is where we will be drawing it close on today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned today. Join me in my next week tutorial where we will be learning about computer, types of computer, components of computer, and the various uses of computer system. Thanks once again and see you in our next tutorial. Bye-bye.